I routinely hear from my clients that they were told after they got injured on the job that their employer was going to take care of them. One of the worst uh, examples that I can think of is where my client was seriously injured at a oil and gas job site and was in the hospital for two and a half months. And when he was in the hospital, he was approached by his employer and was offered a settlement. And if he would sign the settlement, they would take care of him, they would give him a job when he was able to work. He was on heavy pain medication. And they tried to, first of all, take a statement from him, which they claimed was that he admitted fault for causing his own injuries. And secondly, offered him what some would think is a substantial amount of money to sign a release. So to put this in perspective, we have an employee who has suffered major injuries, almost lost his life, was life lighted to the hospital, uh, was at the hospital when this um, safety person from uh, a major oil and gas company went into his hospital room, uh, interviewed him first, uh, got him to admit fault, and then offered him a release. Thankfully, uh, my client did not sign anything, and after five years of litigation, we were able to get his case resolved. What he did not realize at that time, because in his mind he was gonna get better and go back to work and maybe even for the same company. But what he did not know, but others knew, given the extent of his injuries, is that he was never going to go back to work. And he was never going to be fully healed. Uh, and even through the workers' compensation system, he was never going to be compensated for what he was entitled to under Texas law. So the company line that the company will take care of you. I've never seen that work. I've been practicing for 20 years. I've handled thousands of cases. I've never seen that. I've never seen a company come through and take care of their own employee who's been injured.